Brush will be under the sink. Okay, under the sink. Okay. I don't want to put this down. Antonio, who? Yeah. And who are your relation of the Oatses? Um, yes. Because your granny is an Oats, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. George, um, the 13th, um, on the luck on the card. Your luck Yeah, I'm And your granny is? Jennifer. Oats. Oats. Yeah. She's on the same level as Jennifer. Yeah, that's because she's more than Jennifer James. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so I, I'm so the eldest uh, of uh, Mary Trustrain 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 the eldest of Mary Trustrail's children, and she was uh, the first daughter of Ruby. So uh, she had four, uh, so five other people, uh, two brothers and three sisters, and Anne here. Oh, thank you. You do it for me. It's now the end of telling you who she is. <laughs> well, I'm Anne Gibbons. I am the eldest of Louis's grandchildren. And my mother was married. <laughs> I'm David Spear. I'm grandson of Marjorie Oates, who married John Spear. And I'm first cousin, therefore, to Caroline. Our uh, two dads were brothers. That was uh, Bill and John, as they were known, the old, old spear boys, he told them. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm Roland Rattray. I'm John Oates's third oldest grandson, I think. Um, I, my claim to fame is I also went to the Campbell School of Arms where John Oates oh, was trained. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, Mark uh, Lacoste. Jennifer's oldest legitimate son. I am Paul Luckhurst. Mark's the younger brother. So I guess I'm the illegitimate one. That's not you need to me. Sort of <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lachlan Rattray, I'm Rollian's son. I'm George Rockhurst, I'm Mark's son. Yeah, I'm um, his brother. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Illegitimate or kind I'm Alex Rockhurst, Paul's my dad. I'm Antonio Rockhurst, Mark's my dad. Who's your mum? Um, Hugh Rattray, um, Senator from Lewis, brother of James uh, Williams. And that's who? Both three witches of Easter. I'm Tindry, but I'm the elder, and I'm the eldest daughter. Only two grandmothers, but both. Is that right? Two granddaughters, Dominus? Yeah. Um, yeah. She, yes, yes. Because she lives she 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 in Australia. I'm Samantha, I'm Paul's wife. <laughs> 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 
Um, I'm Philippa, Luckhurst. Who's not? I mean... <laughs> <laughs>
wonderful photograph album. And my last meeting with Uncle Cedric, we were talking about this album, which he'd arranged for me to get. I did say to him, I want to stand where my great grandfather stood. And he said, One day, David, I think you may. <laughs> and uh, I, I had struggled to find it because he had spelled it in his notes to me as Calioma. I did get um, some other documentation that spelled it as Kaloma, C A Y, and in the event it is spelled C A I. And I was trying to find it in Peru. In those days, there were no Google Maps. You couldn't tap something in a computer and it didn't come up, it just wasn't there. So it was all about writing to people and things like that. Eventually, I managed to get this map. This is the map I took with me. It's a military map, and it was 20 years old at the time. And uh, the area, you can see there's nothing there. Uh, just for fun, I Googled it yesterday. It took one second to come up. Yeah. I don't know. One second. Because the spelling was great. And I got the satellite view of it. Yeah. And by God, what a place to live for two or three years. He did go on a two year contract and they persuaded him to stay the third year. I've actually got some correspondence about that. So, in 1998, I think I know where it is, but I can't be certain because the, all the spellings are different to what's been written in the first album. But I thought I'd have a go. So I went off with an adventure company, and to get some stamina up, I went to Machu Picchu, hence this place, which is the, the lost in the city. Then I went to Lake Titicaca, which is equally high. Uh, there we have the Uros Indians who live on reed islands and so on. And when they squabble, they saw the island in half, that sort of thing. Very <laughs> <laughs> They had just done that when I was there. They had a family dispute, and they quite literally saw the island in half, one half. Very <laughs> But the, the government likes to keep the Oris um, Indians there, so they sponsor them a bit now. They give them satellite TV and things like that. And you see the chimneys and the reeds, and then just at the top you see the satellite dish. Very funny. Have any of you seen this before? Okay. This is one of the copies of the pictures I took with me. This is the album I took with me. This was copies of the old photo album. And um, I can tell you, this light is just due. I believe this gentleman made an impression, so much so that he named one of his sons after him. This is Lawson. And they worked together for three years. Oates is the one standing up. Yeah, I don't know who this is. And then we had a Francis, we had a Cuso. All these pictures you'll see, we're taking in what I was able to identify as Minas Trinidad HQ. And that threw me as well for a while, because I wondered if we were going to Trinidad. And there wasn't much to do up there. Um, I now know that it was even higher than Uncle Cedric thought. It's 16,000 feet up. And they're having a tea party, or a drinks party. Not just a do it. And thanks to Steve's was a dream, where are you, Steve? He's put my head in there now. <laughs> 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 um, so I, I did the Machu Picchu bit and, and uh, so on. And then I hitched to that area, which is about 60 miles north of Arequipa. And um, nobody wants to go that way because there's nothing to go there before. So I ended up in the back of a, uh, a cement lorry, which was going that way. I was in the trailer part. And I recall going across the, the bumpy terrain hanging onto the side of this thing, getting covered in cement dust, thinking, my friends at home would think I'm orcas. I have an air-conditioned sala at home. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm an absolute bore. And eventually got to this very rotten little mining community, um, where I found a, a, a shed, really, to stay in. And this is lovely, isn't it? And here's some of the, the folk oats. Is Second from right, there, and this is his friend Lawson, and lots of other people. And this is minor 49, just a little bit of a problem. I'm going to hop about a bit because these are photos taken straight out of the album. I'm going to show you a couple of comparison shots in a minute. And that's hard work, isn't it? There's no mules up there, it seems to be all man power. This is uh, San Ignatius mine, and that's my picture. I'll jump back. That's 1893, and this is the moment I knew I'd found the right place. I 
went around the corner with a local guy and um, saw that. And that was a magic moment because I've been anticipating this for five or six years. Could you go back again? They won't let me back. I did try. No, no. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, oh, yes, you. okay, yes. Yeah. And isn't I must tell you, um, uh, we've just established another collection of William and myself. Um, when I was researching this, I was on a blog site, or the earliest sort of blog that possibly was in Peru, and a gentleman popped up whose name was Ray Oates. <laughs> and he said, oh, I'm a miner out here, um, uh, etc. Perhaps I can help you and give you some tips about altitude and so on. <laughs> and I met Ray in Lima, and I just learned that Ray was at mining school with William. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because you always wondered at the time whether we were connected in any way. Yeah. But at, at, at that stage of my life, I wasn't that interested. To be honest. <laughs> and, but I, you know, I knew he had to share the same name as my yeah. Well, Ray and I established that we weren't uh, related, <laughs> sadly. But um, he took me to parts of Lima, and I was able to compare the photographs of Lima uh, uh, with where it was now, because he knew where it was, mm -hmm. which is fascinating. So this is this again. This map. Shows the sort of terrain, it's very steep and kind of, and or kind of, I think it looks sometimes. It's hit. There's one road in, so to speak, it's not really a road, and there's one road out. So all this heavy mine, and this is where William John was for three years. There's nothing there. There's a, a few locals um, in their little enclosures with their alpaca, living on guinea pigs, things like that. Uh, so it's no wonder they, they took some time to take it. What were they mining? Sorry? What were they mining? Oh, it was silver up here. Oh, it was silver. But I got into a spot of all because around the, the side here, I didn't know this, and I set off around this side, and I came across a mining operation here, which um, you can't see on the Google map, but it has no name. Um, they were very surprised, and they weren't very happy to see me, so they locked me up for a bit. Um, that I was put into a compound. Well, they took all my papers and they took this album and so on. Um, and there was a guy with a gun not letting me out. And all I could do to pass the time was read the notice boards. And they were engraved. They weren't written. They were engraved very graphically. Um, how to put your gas mask on. <laughs> and the other one was all about what to look for in social diseases. <laughs> and it was incredibly graphic. And uh, I spent a happy hour reading this. <laughs> And then, they, to my great joy, they sort of decided to roll with it and said, okay, you're a bit of a nutter, but we're, we're pleased to see you. We're going to help you find some of these mines. So they dug out a Toyota truck, got a guy out of the stores who could teach English, my Spanish wasn't that good. I'd done a 10-week crash course in Spanish to, to do this trip, um, I guess. And so off we went. I remember saying to Uncle Cedric, I want to stand here. This is W. John, William John, on the mule on the left. Um, I wanted to stand where he had stood. Would I be able to find those buildings? Well, oh, Steve's wizardry again. <laughs> and this is the moment that I really did. The top picture is William John here, leaning on the wall. There's the doorway there. That's an important reference point. This gentleman is pointing a gun at the camera. Uh, it's just another miner. And this is where I got to. There's the doorway. That's me. And these are two itinerant miners that I found. It's, um, the day after the local mining operation, which might have been looking for uranium, I'm not entirely sure, but they were a bit twitchy. Uh, they told me I absolutely could not go to that area for some reason. So um, the next day was Sunday, so I went around the other side of the mountain and got there. That was that particular part I wanted to get to. And there's our ancestor in his poncho, locally made, which Aunt Gwen, Liz, told me she remembered. Mm. And she said he got a bit old and manky and was thrown away in there. It was, yeah. You remember, do you? I remember that, and we also had um, a leopard skin. Did you? On the, um, one of the settees that we found from the world. And um, it had claws on it. And one day, Mother got really fed up with it. She lavered her stockings. And she cut the feet. <laughs> <laughs> so she never had to stop. But I definitely, I remember the contract. Right. Well, here's one I bought 
earlier. <laughs> uh, I thought it was the same, so um, I got one that was made locally as well. This hasn't been out of the bag for years, but this is the... Uh, Polly, this might fit you better than me. Let's have a go. Men 
um, shot in 1818. And his two brothers exacted a terrible revenge, and they lynched the preventative man. This is actually oh, yeah. they lynched the preventative man and hung him. That's where the And this is on the road. This is on the road from Red Ruth. Yeah, the London Highway. Well, we should put these facts together. Yeah. I put this story into the hands of professionals. A professional researchers in Cornwall back in um, 88 or whatever it was, and they failed to find it. But um, Uncle Sergio also said there was a some sort of meeting somewhere where Crothers and Oaks were, and also um, family members. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, it had mining. mining. And there were several different...